will put knowledge and light over what is pre and post what is going to happen before the arc and after the arc for a, a aspiring candidate when he joins when he wants to join the architecture course so let us first of all understand a little bit about what is architecture so if you uh, if we check it out like architecture is the art and science of designing buildings and other physical structures or the design of total built environment from macro level of town planning urban designing and landscape architecture to micro level of construction details and furniture so as we can see some of the buildings in this slide it is it is not just may may making some blocks it is the blocks which are functional and which are you know aesthetically pleasing to others and it is good to use and there is lot of confusion between two words like so many people say you are going to become an architect or architecture so i just uh, want to uh, discuss two three words before uh, we go into details first of all architecture is a profession and architect is a person who who is pr practicing archi architecture and it is like who is designing the buildings i can say sentence like my daughter is studying architecture which is a course and i can also say my da daughter is going to be an architect very soon so uh, the confusion between words is uh, has to be clear now if we talk about architect there is little more we i want to add that is an architect is a licensed professional who gets the registration Uh, there are people who are also practicing architecture who are into the field but the architect is only that person who is licensed and who license it that is the authorities that is the council of architecture after the degree of b architecture a student that the candidate gets the registration from council of architecture and they are ready to go and they are ready to practice in the field <clears throat> now if we talk about what skills are needed to enter this course and uh, there are like designing skills knowledge innovativeness and a lot of things are required if we talk about the field of architecture when the students want to uh, enter this b architecture course the student has to be clear that they have a very good designing skills designing skills means i want to say is like creativity what they can create by their imagination and uh, on papers we can always draft it we can always do drawings that is a separate thing but before that one has to be uh, innovative enough to to design something because creativity is not uh, like everybody can uh, be the part of it right and then we talk about this b architecture course what is this course actually one is architecture the field is there one is the course b architecture course it is actually uh, i think everybody know it is undergraduate degree course of 5 years and uh, the, there are different subjects we go into and uh, there are different things which we, we which is required if we say some questions what is the duration of architecture course in india if it is uh, it is also who is eligible for architecture course in india is the architecture aptitude test for architecture compulsory where is the architecture aptitude test conducted what are the criteria all these are the questions uh, when when the students have to take the admission so i will just clarify these questions first of all so what is the duration it is basically 5 years and whole of the course is divided into 10 semesters 
it is a uh, it has got basically two stages first stage is is having you know six semesters and second stage has the fourth four semester that means first three years is stage 1 and the second stage that is the stage 2 as per council of architecture this course has to be clear uh, within you know 8 8 years 5 years course has to be clear within 8 years and the first stage that is first 3 years has to be clear within 5 years that is uh, the main basic rule uh, which is being followed and who are eligible right now due to covid 19 there are some relaxation but generally it is physics chemistry maths or you can say pcm those students who have got 50% minimum marks in 10 plus 2 they are eligible and uh, what about nata uh, i will talk exactly about nata and there are few other uh, architecture aptitude tests but from 2021 this year it is now mandatory to clear nata by every student wherever they want to get the admission if they have cleared j triple uh, e or any other state uh, aptitude test then also it is mandatory to clear nata examination so i think uh, there is uh, there are still one nata test is going to be held in july we have talked about this nata uh, this is national aptitude test in architecture which is being conducted by council of architecture and uh, the details are there easily available on the web page of nata and students can uh, really apply and appear for the test and this is mandatory condition a part of uh, you know plus 2 10 plus 2 or diploma in any stream they have done this is a mandatory test which is required so what are the criteria of admissions if we say uh, the students have cracked the nata they have got the uh, plus 2 exam 10 plus 2 exam or diploma cleared then what is the criteria so right now the criteria will be different this year because uh, 10 plus 2 exams are cancelled and so many states are going to take decisions but it is 50% weightage is given to 10 plus 2 marks and 50% weightage is given to the nata score so the overall all merit which is made is a uh, joint 50 50 of nata and plus 2 and uh, what is the maximum intake in architecture course normally it is 40 intake in every college it is 40 uh, but there are so many colleges they have got some more seats also so uh, you can see in this screen uh, we talk about the basic structure basic course which is in br uh, if someone get to the course and they have to go through these subjects like uh, in the first 3 years it is architecture design building construction building materials and sciences architectural drawing and graphics history of architecture workshop practice landscape design structural mechanics and theory of structures surveying and leveling building services humanities estimating costing principle of human settlement etc basically these subjects are focused and uh, they are meant to be go uh, going parallel to architectural design basically the students ultimately is going to design a building so all these subjects help a students to increase his knowledge and to design a building in a better way more functional aesthetically good then we go to the second phase or the second stage of the degree there is a provision after 3 years of bac or you can say after 3 years you have uh, in the program one can opt out also there is a provision as per council of architecture that a student can jump out and the student can get a degree that is bsc building sciences or even ba built environment 
so it is up to the choice of the students that uh, they want to continue uh, in future or they want to uh, get a degree like this and in the second stage we find out like there are subjects which is architectural design which goes from the very first year building construction building sciences town planning professional practice building bylaws structural system and other subjects which are related to the profession which are some subjects which goes into the last semester like professional practice like building bylaws because students have to enter the field so they have to know about the current situation the situation which goes in the field so now we if we talk about the post post we have talked about the pre what is required for getting into b architecture course second we have talked a little bit about what is going in the degree program all these courses the five year program then what happens after the student pass out and he becomes a architect now there are basically 12 unique things which a student can go into uh, as per the interest the number one is restoration architect nowadays if we talk about architecture it is not just designing buildings it is also about the restoration of the historical buildings restoration preservation conservation all has to be done which which adds to the society which adds to the historical heritage of the country of the state of the place and it ultimately adds to the economy of that part so this is very much you know a uh, happening field and a uh, lot many architectural students are going into this field and uh, this is very promising you can see some of the pictures on right hand side there are some museums and uh, some historical buildings which are restored preserved and some modern things also are also clubbed into the design and uh, the whole of the concept becomes very lively these are some pictures showing the restoration preservation work you can see so many buildings so many historical uh, things if you see you can see on the middle side the, these are from india right hand side also and uh, the architects work on these elevations on these designs to preserve it conserve it study the main part is the the candidate the student or uh, you know the architect has to ha should have the knowledge about the history of architecture of that particular place the material used about the climate also they have to know and at, as a whole they have to preserve the whole of the building next next is the research architect uh, everybody uh, nowadays use autocad revit archicad these are basic softwares which are being used in the field of architecture there are other softwares also but who are developing these softwares definitely the software engineers are developing but the knowledge the know how how the software has to work what is the environment required is the only the person who is who can guide them is the architect so the research architect their their job is to guide the it software or the uh, software designer to to design such a software which is ve very good or which is very familiar which is comfortable to be used so this is another field which uh, the architects are going next is the third unique thing is unique field is lighting architects means the architects who are working on lights nowadays uh, you know commercial buildings are there even residential the light effect the uh, art the art of light which is very important this is a very specific field and uh, very much paying also in which an a, a, an architect can design whole of the building in such a way that light effect is there 
you can see this building this is in chennai and you can see the light effect of this building you can see on right hand side the uh, atrium on left hand side you can see the same elevation same view is there and you can see different uh, colors in the elevation this is all because of the light light is not in uh, you know exterior or at the night time but it is also at, in the day in this picture you can see the light effect uh, which has been used by the architect in a residential building this is in india only these pictures are uh, also tell about how to use light in day so an architect who has uh, interest in playing with the light the, the that that person that architect can play in in you know night light as well as the daylight so you can see how wonderfully these uh, interiors are looking just by placing shades and shadows by playing with the you know material and everything so lighting architect is also a very good field specifically to the architects you can see this also uh, you can see the materials how how the material behave with the light effect now next field is uh, really research oriented basically or you can say extreme architects you know there are places in this planet earth which uh, have extreme climate uh, conditions if you talk about antarctica if you talk about some other places deserts there are extreme climate so the architects are needed there even nowadays uh, nasa isro they are hiring architects to design you know uh, base scientific uh, base study base at you know mars or moon so architects are needed there also and uh, you can see in this picture these are all the works of architect the concept the designs by the architect in extreme design condition it is not just uh, for scientific community but also there are some uh, resorts and some spas in extreme climate you can see this uh, there is olympic ski jump ski jump on left hand side and you can also see the spa on right hand side which is which has been designed in extreme climate so the architects can choose for this field also and it requires a lot of specialization also next is we talk about is the industrial architects the field this is uh, also a very uh, good field and we think about only sheds and all all wrought iron structures but industrial designing is much more than that the architect who goes in this field can design the industry more aesthetically pleasing way in a pleasing way they can plan it in more functional way and you can see these buildings they are wonderful work of a uh, few architects worldwide next the sixth six field you we can talk about furniture architects you know the detailing part the designing part if if you can see right hand side on right hand side there are some furnitures where which are very much designer very much aesthetically pleasing they are just the design of some architects even our interior designer can also uh, go in this field but architects due to because uh, they know the know how of the materials the know how of you know the interior spaces it is wonderful field for them to go into the furniture architects and uh, i will quickly uh, go to three four fields also that is the graphic designer a student who has passed they can go they they nowadays the students have very good hand in uh, you know computers so they can be a very good graphic designer they can 
they can uh, create they can go uh, design they can go for walk throughs they can go for perspective views using softwares and they can also go for designing of you know some uh, architects uh, or some industries logo there are so many field so many ways they can work in graphic industry also so graphic designer is also a wonderful field and next is the teacher and profession very noble profession very noble thing one can uh, enter the field of uh, teaching but uh, nowadays it is also required that uh, mr masters in architecture is required so one can think about teaching profession also where yeah, you can think also about uh, conservative mist and also about the architectural photographers so photographers like there are so many architects who have got wonderful work and uh, they want to get it you know documented they want to go for good presentation so that that can be done with uh, this career and as an architect uh, the person better understand the buildings what is uh, has to be and what has to be clicked so it is a very good uh, line and it is very good field that one can go for architectural photo as a architectural photographer next is architectural journalism the students who are keen of writing they want to you know write about uh, the things which are going in the field of architecture you know urban design or interior design or any new building material construction they can write about uh, these things and they can you know share the knowledge with the world this is uh, a very nowadays bloggers are writing on net uh, there uh, in even on uh, youtube channels also is kind of a architectural journalism uh, to share the knowledge and uh, this is a very good field and last is entrepreneur means you have an idea and uh, and you can create something you can find a solution to a problem and then launch it and you can be a very good uh, successful person there are just uh, i have just mentioned about these 12 uh, specific unique fields but there are not there are so many others so this is just a uh, starting and i hope all the candidates or the aspiring students uh, to be to have a good future better future and i hope uh, uh, all of you have understood about what is before and what is after we are and and i would like if there is any questions the students want to ask is most welcome hi uh, this is uh, rajesh here uh, as you mentioned uh, there is no uh, uh, tu2 or uh, 12th standard uh, examination in most of the states uh, so there will be a nata score which uh, which which, uh, which uh, can be the only thing uh, to get uh, admissions in the college so yeah. you know, uh, there is already already one nata exam uh, has taken place in month of february so how you know like uh, you, as you said you know there is one more exam in the month of uh, july so you know is the registration are still open for the july exam or uh, they are already closed yeah uh, the council of architecture is opening the registration and uh, students can appear for the this second test also now nata uh, in this covid 19 situation nata will be the only thing i think uh, to make the merit because uh, other Uh, we we can see the plus two. We will only get the pass or average marks, but uh, for a merit list, NATA will be considered definitely. That is, uh, uh, students have those students who have not appeared for the first, they can appear for the second also. And it is average. If if somebody has appeared for the first, they can also appear for the second, but uh, the average will be counted. Uh, it's for 200 marks, and what is um, generally said that uh, which is the best score? You know, like uh, uh, is there any uh, any any good score? Yeah, 120 and above is very good score. 120 and above. Many universities 
are taking 120 as benchmark it's like uh, scholarship also opens from 120 marks very good scholarship open at many places i have seen in uh, various universities uh, this is good marks but uh, we talk about uh, eligibility 80 is the eligibility for that so passing marks is 40% of only also sir uh, as many institutions they take je paper to score in place of nata uh, will they be able to do this this year so uh, they will be able to make the merit uh, on the basis of je but uh, the student ultimately have to clear the nata okay because as per 2020 norms uh, the latest norms it is mandatory now nata can be taken as you know uh, for uh, the marks can be taken as for, for creating a merit or uh, je marks or je thing uh, ranks can be taken for creating a merit but uh to finalize the you to uh, i mean to say to get the uh, student registration number from council of architecture nata is mandatory it was not uh, from uh, in the last year but from this year only it has happened okay uh, any requirements for the uh, students who are coming from the other states other than nata uh Pardon, I didn't get you basically. Any 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 more requirement for the students who are coming from other states other than you know like maybe you know maybe from Punjab? No, no. The the rules are rules and regulations are same for all over India. Nata and plus two. Okay. The the rule remains same for uh, all the colleges, universities all over India. Or internationally also in Dubai and some few other. countries they have got uh, uh, this architecture from from, uh, from indian affiliated university so the rules will be same sir uh, can you uh, for can you uh, just elaborate on the change of syllabus for this uh, year nata exam yeah uh, syllabus is basically uh, earlier it used to be online the objective type and uh, also it is uh, the drawing but this time what they have done is they have deleted the drawing part and they have you know uh, made it like uh, more objective only and it is basically 10th marks uh, sorry uh, the the math mathematics the uh, those gk questions a little bit about architectural aptitude little bit about those banking exams and all those questions are there in that so it is uh, as per council they are saying that no you know preparation is required but uh, what i can suggest to the student is it, if it is good like they can practice the objective type they can practice those images which we have in uh, you know architecture aptitude test but they can for now they can leave drawing part thank you sir and any uh, any a particular site where the uh, student can practice for as a mock test and all for with new syllabus uh, right now they there are not much site about for that okay. new syllabus is just they have done uh, it is there but uh, sites will be uh, you know next year or maybe 2 3 months after this test they will get to know what they have done but uh, Uh, basic will remain same all those previous sites even the nata is also uh, nata web page also discloses so many thing uh, students can check out the aptitude part which was online only the objective type part has, is almost the same means uh, if we see check about the architecture things they can check the uh, you know the contemporary architects the main buildings uh the type of you know historic uh, structures images this is this is the way they put it in nata and uh, one more question sir suppose he suppose my students get 120 marks then what will be your advice for uh, college selection matlab which college they should select the college selection is like uh, 
it it is basically personal thing so many students want uh, they, they have to go to you know government colleges they, they want admission in government college so many wants that the location uh, is their priority so many wants uh, that uh, you know facility it 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 is particular in, in case of in your case uh, what is your priority that will govern it then there are uh, then there are uh, then there are certain factors uh, factors like uh, let's say that how many faculty members that college is having what are the number of seats which are approved for that college and then you can also see the experience of the faculties because the program is a studio based or a practical program it is very important to know that what kind of faculty is teaching there okay and the student teacher ratio is also very important to be looked at then you can also look at the factor that whether the college is providing any kind of uh, placement or internship assistance most of the architectural colleges they are not providing any placement or internship assistance to the candidates so this is a very important point third you can also see that uh, is there any kind of uh, international exposure which a student can get through that particular college and what kind of projects uh, the students who are studying there they have already done so these four five things will actually help you in, in deciding the college thank you sir thank you so any other question so uh, i think we should wind up and before winding up i would like to tell you a little about the rimt university so rimt university is a 22 year old institution located on nh1 in punjab and uh, we do have a very good architectural inst college in the campus uh, we do have around 20 colleges and around 150 programs are being offered um, in the university uh, the university is spread across more than 100 acres of land and many other facilities like for there are various student clubs student activities are happening throughout the year then very well furnished hostels are also there bus service is also there so uh, like a 22 or institution should have every facility is there in the campus and as far as the teaching pedagogy is concerned uh, most of the things are project based so in a particular semester let's say students are studying four or five subjects then in that particular semester they will have to work work on a project alongside studying those subjects so the education is project based and then we do have tie ups with companies for internships and placements uh, even for architecture as well so uh, this is a small summary of what rimt university is and you can also go on our website and check check it out in case of any further doubts or questions you have uh, you can contact on the numbers which are provided on the university website so uh, anything else sir, you want to say no uh, that's good enough i think uh, students can uh, also check our web page and uh, they can go through all the things okay okay so thank you everyone thank you for joining us for the session today thank, thank you thank you